I'm going to show you how easy it is to create and cast spells that work. This information comes from my Coven. You can become a Coven member too. At the end of this video, I'll tell you how you can join. Hello, I'm Alison from AlisonPsychicSecrets.com. I'm a white witch and spellcaster. My videos are brimming with positive energy and they are both empowering and illuminating. Please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the positive energy and blessings I will send to you with love and light. It is easier than you think in devising, writing and casting spells. As with anything in life, research, care and attention to detail will always bring good results. Intention Decide on the intention of the magic spell. What do you hope to gain or manifest by your spell casting? What specific goal are you aiming for? Bear in mind that your magic spell must be for a positive purpose with harm to none. Any mischievous or malicious intent will backfire upon you threefold. Correspondences Everything possesses elemental energy that corresponds to the elements of fire, earth, air, water or spirit. The term correspondences refers to the appropriate classification of many spell ingredients, objects, timings, directions, colours, emotions and qualities, etc. It is very important in all magical workings and particularly in spell casting to select the correct ingredients that correspond to the outcome you are aiming for. Carefully choosing the right herbs, coloured candles or timings will reap benefits in your spell casting practice. Select the matching correspondence to your aim. A magic spell for money manifestation could include green candles, green crystals such as aventurin, and herbs of sage or mint. The money spell could be cast at sunrise facing the direction north. A love spell would perhaps include rose quartz crystals, rosebuds or rosemary, and pink candles and be cast at midnight. Concentration. Before attempting to spell cast, it is very important that you are able to focus your mind on what you are about to do. A great way to practice concentrating is by looking at images of the colour purple. Purple is a very psychic colour and focusing on it opens up your third eye. Practice concentrating on the centre of this purple effect. I will remain silent for a short while. Money spells. Herbs and plants used in magic spells for money manifestation include sage, mint, mugwort, and honeysuckle. The predominant colour of four money spells is green, so candles and crystals in this colour should be used. Money spells correspond with the element of earth and should ideally be cast at sunrise facing north. Love spells. The plants and herbs most associated with any love spells are rose and rosemary. Pink is the colour that corresponds with love spells, so crystals and candles of this colour should be used. Love spells resonate with the element of water. Timing of love spells are usually set for midnight and can be cast in the direction of west. Success spells. Magic spells for success 
correspond with the element of fire, the colour red, the direction south and the time of midday. Herbs and plants best used in success spells are basil, bay laurel, rosemary or nettle. Fiery crystals such as amber, tiger's eye, red jasper and carnelian should be used to manifest success. Moon phases. Decide when to cast your specific magic spell by taking into account the phase of the moon. A love spell is best cast on a full moon, whereas a cleansing spell would be best cast on a new moon. It is important to select the right moon phase for a specific magic spell. Spell casting to gain, increase or draw towards you love, abundance, prosperity, etc. should ideally be cast when the moon is waxing from new to full. To rid, decrease or send away negativity or bad habits, choose the waning moon phase from full to new. Wording It is not essential to have your magic spell worded in rhyme, but the very process of attempting to make a rhyming poem of the outcome of your magic spell takes time, energy and effort. This ensures you have really thought about what it is you want exactly. Your magic spell should be written down. It must be spelled out to the universe. You must also speak aloud your spell preferably three times, to ensure the universe can hear your requests. Be very specific in your magic spell request and include a time span if there is a deadline. A magic spell to win the lottery, badly worded, may result in the lowest payout some years hence and not the big prize you wanted within months. A badly worded love spell may result in you attracting a bunch of weirdos so be careful what you wish for, as you just might get it. Traditionally, the words, so mote it be, should end your magic spell. This is a very ancient phrase and means, so as I will it, so shall it be done. It is basically an affirmation that your request will manifest into reality. Spell casting. If you conduct any magical working half-heartedly with little thought to the ingredients, tools or wording, you will only achieve half-hearted results. So take great thought and care and give yourself the best chance of manifestation of your desires by taking each step of the spell casting process seriously. Remember that a magic spell cannot replace physical actions, only enhance them. So if you want to attract a soulmate into your life, you need to mix and socialise with lots of people. If you want a brilliant job, then you have to ensure your CV or resume is brilliant. If you want to win the lottery, then you have to buy a ticket. If you want to join my Green Witches Coven, then contact me. As a practicing white witch, I use only positive energy in all the spells I cast, and this video is blessed with the same positive energy. I have cast a magic spell on this video so that its message of love and light can reach as many people as possible. To promote good karma and positive energy for yourself, please subscribe and share this video with all those you care about. You can contact me at my website at alizonpsychicsecrets.com.